we're going to start by setting our heat press to 400 degrees Fahrenheit in 60 seconds. I also have the pressure turned up to firm, which is required for dye sublimation. Make sure you're using a light colored, high polyester kelp fabric. The higher the polyester count, the more vibrant your image is going to be. You want to avoid anything below 50%. Also keep in mind that the color of your shirt is going to show through in your image and it will affect the final look. So make sure you take that into consideration. Light colors, high poly count. Before placing your image, make sure you lint roll your garment. This removes any lint or fibers from the shirt that can prevent either poly spots or blank spots in your image. Once this happens, you can't go back and fix it. So don't skip this step. Now we are going to place our design. Make sure that you have the ink side down and that your print is right side up. I'm going to center it right below the bottom of the V and in line with the striations of the shirt. I'm using a high temp heat tape that is not going to uh, leave a sticky residue with the high temp and time that it's going to be pressed. This is very important. When you open the press, you do not want your image to shift, which can cause ghosting. Again, with sublimation, there's no do-overs. So this is very important. Tape down all four corners. Before I press, I'm going to add paper between the layers of the shirt. I want to make sure that I'm using pieces that are larger than the design itself. I'm just going to place it inside. This prevents any bleed through during the sublimation process. This ink will bleed through the shirt onto the other side and you'll be able to see it on the back if you don't do this. You can use copy paper, you can use butcher paper, but you want to make sure you're using something that's blank. And I just want to make sure that I've got it centered behind that design. So now it's time to press. To make it easy to transfer it from my table to my press, I fold my shirt up around the image. I do also use a pressing pillow. This is not required, but I found that it helps avoid the lines from the edges of the transfer sheet showing up on the shirt. Make sure it's smooth, there's no wrinkles behind it. And then I'm going to place two more pieces of copy paper on top of my image. This prevents the sublimation ink from transferring to the top of my heat press. You do not need to use a Teflon sheet, it's actually not recommended, but the butcher paper or the copy paper that you have there is keeping the Teflon from direct contact with the transfer. Then you're going to press, again, 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and as soon as it's done, you're going to want to open that press up and go ahead and remove those papers. So we're going to remove these pieces of paper and we want to immediately remove our image. Be careful, you don't want to lift it up and drop it back down. This again can cause ghosting. So get that image off of there as quick as you can and then pull your garment out of the press. And there you go, that tape just comes right off. There's no residue and there is your nice vibrant sublimated image. And success. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the sublimation process or where to get any of the things that you've seen, do not hesitate to ask. Thanks again. Have a good day.